the last day of the first week of the Eagle Expedition and we're going to take this opportunity to come in and see where James uh, does his PhD work, studies eagles, not in the field but in the laboratory. Let's see what he's up to at UTAS today. So what I'm doing is preparing some bone samples. So what you can see here is little bits of bone. Oh, there's a bigger one. A bit of leg bone from the eagle. And I'm going to send these samples off to a lab to get them checked for how much lead is in their bones. So today we've been, uh, or I've been analysing the bones um, to send them off to the lab to look for lead. Um, but what am I, why am I doing this? Um, and the reason is that in other eagle populations in both Europe and the US, um, lead has been shown to be a problem. So these eagles are picking up lead from when somebody needs to shoot an animal either from hunting or to control um, mammal populations. They'll just shoot the animal and they'll leave it there. But the bullet that they've used is made out of lead. And then the eagles come in to eat these carcasses and they pick up little bits of lead and it's bad for them. Um, so this is why we're checking if this is a problem in Tasmania as well. Hi, I'm Anna from the School of Natural Sciences slash Biological Sciences slash Zoology. Um, I'm a teaching lab manager and my job is to prepare samples for all the prac classes for, for zoology. Uh, also, uh, in the curator of the zoology sort of collection of um, samples such as these here, and we've recently acquired a, a couple of eagles. They were part of uh, one of our PhD students' uh, projects, and so we've been able to use them and have them taxidermied, and uh, they will be a really valuable teaching and educational resource for us. Why Wedgie Why with me, James Pay. So today, as I've been working in the lab with my bones, it occurred to me, why are laboratories always so white? <laughs> 